हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ श्वेता गांधी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी वी आर बैक विद द न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ द न्यू चैप्टर फॉर द सब्जेक्ट फार्माकोग्नोसी एंड फाइटो केमिस्ट्री टू लेट्स स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन एस्टिमेशन एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द पोलाइन फाइटो कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स the phyto constituents which we are talking about that are specific in your syllabus are forscolin cyanocyte artemisin diosgenin digoxin atropin podophyllotoxin caffeine exol vincristine and vinblastin for all these phyto constituent we have to study about the industrial production estimation and utilization the most important thing is to understand the meaning of the these three points industrial production estimation and utilization so in introduction first you need to know about what are the industrial production what is industrial production what are the steps that involved in industrial production what do you mean by the industrial production estimation and utilization and one by one the procedure of all the phyto constituents so let's start with the introduction to industrial production any process of a drug there's go to a number of procedure from the cultivation to the consumer in the form of formulation is the industrial production and various steps that involved in the industrial production are first is the selection or collection of desired herb or plants first we have to select or collect the herb from which the formulation to be developed isolation of the raw material and extraction of the active constituent these are the three main steps now recent development in the field of industrial production of active constituent are the tissue culture biogenetic study for example plant tissue cultures are nowadays very helpful in producing new and hybrid variety and the advantages of the this tissue culture technique is that will get the desired amount of phyto constituent now incorporation of designed active constituent into the desired doses form means we will get the desired active constituent qc of the prepared means quality control of the prepared doses form and its analysis to ensure its meet now packaging and storage and delivery final to the consumer market what are the general methods which can be used the the main method which can be used for the industrial production is the extraction method by the different by maceration by alcohol and by pulverization of the powder and then do the extraction these are the various extraction method this we have already studied in our extraction chapter but here just for your knowledge how we can do the extraction for the industrial production of the drug success is solvent extraction chromatographic techniques fractional liberation fractional fractional crystallization distillation steam distillation supercritical fluid extraction and the sublimation now start with the one by one of the category of the drug first is the force cooling the for any category of the drug the most important one you need to notice is the you should know the biological source of the drug you should know the structure of the drug for example force cooling you should know what which type of secondary metabolite is this this is labdan dry terpenoid obtained from the roots of the coleus forthis and family is the laminaceae you should know about the chemical structure of force cooling now the chemical constituent is another important point to notice then comes to the extraction in any extraction method you should know how to extract the force cooling you should know the key ingredients or key solvents which are used for the extraction so in this the force cooling can be extracted with the help of the methanol and then we will use the chloroforms or separation of the layer and then a reddish brown to brown color is developed when the force cooling powder is obtained this is the flow chart method of determination of the force cooling so you should maintain the industrial production method in the form of flow chart so in this dry roots of force cooling is then it is extracted with chloroform we will collect the organic extract we will dry it and then separate by the different chromatographic techniques now comes to the after industrial production estimation estimation means how can we determine 
the force cooling quantification of the force cooling can be done by the HPLC and the TLC method. The main thing to remember is the mobile phase, stationary phase and the visualization agents which we are using in different methods. I have given every industrial production with a specific method, the method to be used. You should know and learn about the for format, how to present this industrial production. The same format in all the drugs, only the thing you need to change is the method of procedure. The extraction method, then comes the extraction. Chromatographic system, chromatographic condition means column, what is the mobile phase we are using, wavelength, flow rate is generally 1 to 1 1.5 ml per minute, injection volume if we are using the HPLC method. This is the estimation, how to prepare the standard sample and how to inject the sample. And utilization, the last and the most important, the utilization means the pharmacological uses of the phytoconstituent. For example, here antidepressant, vasodilation, the force calling can be used as an antidepressant, vasodilation it is also used as an anti-asthmatic. So these are the various utilization of the drug. Same way we have to follow for all the drugs, for example, the senocyte. In the senocyte, the source is obtained from the dianthron glycosides and its structure is the senocyte A and B. Only structure in senocyte is same, both the structures are the same in senocyte A and B. Only the difference is their rearrangement of the uh, that groups, rearrangement of the groups. Senna is an anthraquinone glycoside, O linkage glycoside. It consists of two active dimers, senoside A and B. Both on hydrolysis cube, glucose and the a glycone lactase. Now, the extraction procedure. In every drug, I have given the extraction procedure, different method 1, 2 or 3. You can follow any one method for the extraction. For example, in case of Senna, Senna leaves are powdered, then it is extracted with the benzene and then extracted with the help of shaker, then extract is treated with methanol, then it will be combined the extract, concentrated to the original volume, treated with SCL, pH is to be maintained and the precipitated dry and the percentage yield to be calculated. The second method is same, only the solvents are changed in which they are soluble. This is the flowchart and the short form of the highlights, how, to the, how the SINA can be extracted out. So, Senna powder is treated with the benzene, then it is dried, then combine both the extract, then concentrate, pH is adjusted and then the precipitate of senocytes are obtained. Now, the chemical test is also important in the case where there is a name test. For example, senocytes is the important bond trigger test. So, you can write the chemical test used here is bond trigger or modify. You can write any one of the Test. Now the estimation, same, TLC and HPTLC methods can be used for the senocytes. Visualizations, HPLC estimation of chromatographic press, which column we are using, how stationary phase is used, detection, UV detectors we are using, these all flow rates. So you have to note the estimation also, different methods. For example, if any specific method of the pharmacopoeia limit, for example, for senocyte, USP assay method is there. So, you need to mention the USP assay method. Estimation can also be done by the calorimetry according to IP 1996. So, the utilization is purgative in skin diseases as an enthelmatic. The same way, another drug which we are using is the diogenic. It is an aglycone obtained from the hydrolysis of steroidal saponin glycoside. Family is Dioscoriaceae. Now, plant, there are different sources of Dioscoria. They can be obtained from the Dioscoria deltoidea, Dioscoria compositia. So, you need to remember any one of the sources which is the major source. The structure is the most important to draw. Okay, if you cannot draw the proper structure, you can draw at least the structural skeleton of that phytoconstituent, chemical constituent, then extraction procedure, different extraction procedure, method 1, method 2 for the diogenic, and method 3 for the diogenic. Then comes the estimation, estimation by the different methods and then comes the utilization. 
utilization it is used as a precursor for the steroidal synthesis it is uh, diazine is mainly used in the synthesis of the various hormones and the steroids for example it is also used in this in, uh, treatment of rheumatism next comes the digoxin it is a cardioglycoside which is obtained from the digitalis lenta and family is the scrofulaceae this is the source physical properties extraction method 1 method 2 same way here we have to take the drug powdered it treated with ethyl acetate extraction is made and then separate out the different and different extract and then again treated with alcohol and the digoxin is separated and with another digoxygenin is Estimation can be done by the help of the UV detectors. Utilization can be used in the cardiac tonic, heart failure and arterial fibrillation. Means in the treatment of the uh, heart related cardiotonic it is mainly used. Next comes the Texol. Texol is the most common as it is an anti-cancer drug obtained from the Texas Brevifolia. The physical properties of the Texol. Now the Texol, Paclitexel. You can call it packing. This is the extraction for the Texol, and then comes the highlights for the extraction of the Texol method. Estimation for the Texol and utilization. It is used in different types of cancer. Now comes the wind crystalline and wind blasting. This is obtained from the plant Catharanthus rosaceus, family Apocynaceae, and it is a kind of indolalkyl. This is the structural difference between wind crystalline and wind blasting. Only the structural difference, the wind crystalline and wind blasting is the group and are if we take here in wind crystalline and CH is attached and in wind blasting methyl group and CH3 is attached. So the extraction of wind crystalline and wind blasting for the different phytoconstrate. This is the method for the isolation of the ajmalacin and this is the method for the separation of the salt of wind crystalline called wind crystalline sulfate. You can note any of the one method. And one name method called Voboda's method for the separation of the vinca alkaloid. This is the estimation can be done by the TLC, can be done by HPLC. This is the different chromatographic system, solvent system are also mentioned here. And utilization, it is also used in the childhood leukemia and used as an immunosuppressant. Next comes the atropine. Atropine is a tropane alkaloid belong to family Solanaceae and it is obtained from the atropa or the Thura stromae. Atropine is a tropin group of alkaloid. The main it is a mixture of two isomers of hyosimine, dihyosimine and alhyosimine. This is the method of the extraction. Then other comes the estimation by the TLC USP SC method is also there. By titration, we can also estimate and the utilization it is used for the treatment of the eyes, heart, and it is also used as an antidote in poisoning. Now, next comes the artemisin. It is a cisquiterpene lepton which is obtained from the Artemisia enva and family is Astraceae. Now, artemisin is extracted from the air dried plants using ethyl ether, and this is the method for the extraction of the artemisin. Soxalate extraction can also be used for the industrial production of the artemisin. Now, third method, the important for the artemisin nowadays widely used is the microwave assisted method extraction for the artemisin and for artemisin the estimation methods used are TLC densitometer, HPLC method for HPLC columns uses C18 detector at 260 UV detector at 260 nm mobile phase may be phosphate buffer is to methanol in the ratio 6 is to 4 pH to be maintained at 7.9 HPLC and HPTLC methods are used for the estimation this is the TLC estimation of the artemisin and the utilization is mainly used for the anti-malaria it is used in malaria now next comes the podophyllotoxin obtained from the podophyllum hexandrum belonging to family barbadesia this is the structure of the podophyllotoxin and the extraction method for the podophyllotoxin this is the specification of the podophy the test test how to prepare the test solution estimation tlc is through tlc estimation can be done Next is the different HPLC methods can also be used. Standard solution, sample preparations, HPLC, TLC, TLC densitometer. These are the various methods used for the estimation of the podophyllotoxin. 
and utilization it is effective in the treatment of the malaria and uh, another also act as a immuno modulator next is the caffeine caffeine source is the xanthine alkaloid from coffee arabica and camellia sinensis this is the source for the caffeine families rupee c if you note here the structure of the caffeine now the caffeine is obtained from the tea or coffee biological source from the leaves of the thea sinensis and chemical constituent as you have seen from the coffee different constituents are the fixed oil proteins and the tannins caffeine metabolism is the more important Paraxanthine, theobromine, and theophylline. These are the three metabolic products of the caffeine. Paraxanthine increases the lipolysis, means it elevates the liver of the glycerol and the free fatty acid. Theobromine it dilates the blood vessel and increases the urine volume. And theophylline it relaxes the smooth muscle of the bronchi. And due to this, it is helpful in treating the asthma. This is the metabolism: paraxanthine, theobromine, and theophylline. Now the extraction method for the caffeine. This is the extraction method for the caffeine. We have to weigh the powder, treated it with water and then treated it with the hot condition. Evaporate the extract. Now the identification method. Identification method we can use here is the muraxide test can be used for the caffeine. This is the way how we can do the muraxide test. Now the estimation can be done by the TLC method, mobile phase, detection is the iodine wafer and TLC through TLC also detection can be done and after TLC the estimation can also be done by the UV visible spectrophotometer, then sample preparation and the analytic preparation in every drug you have to mention. These are the estimation method by HPLC also we can estimate the coffee and utilization means how to use the caffeine it is used in the increase the performance as a cns stimulant it is also improve the airway function in treatment of the asthma what are the important questions that can be asked from this industrial production are the different drugs can be separately be asked and industrial production of the senocide desoxin phosphorine like wind crystalline and wind blasting whereas books are referred for this chapter of the industrial production before ending up with this lecture, I should mention in the industrial production, you need to explain about the introduction to the industrial production, various extractive method and for every drug, you need to mention the biological source, structure, chemical constituent, physical property, utilization and estimation are the most important. Utilization means its pharmacological uses and estimation means how to predict, how to obtain by different spectroscopic methods like TLC, HPLC and HPTLC method. Thank you. Please do subscribe our pharma channel, Pharma Ignite.